Ever since Set 4, every modern TFT set included an economy trade with a potentially large loot cash out. In Set 8, we had the underground trade, in Set 9, it was spilled over, and in Set 10, this type of trade is called hard steel. One problem all of the economic trades shared so far is that you had to field them early. You usually wanted the trade active in stage 2 1 to start a very long loose streak. The longer you could maintain this, the better the reward in the end. If you couldn't field the trade early, then it was usually not worth committing to it. To combat this problem, Riot decided to go with a new approach. The hard seal trade will always cash out after 4 rounds. During these 4 rounds, you collect points by either defeating units or losing fights. Your reward will be determined by the amount of points that you were able to gather. To get the most out of the trade, you have to reach higher thresholds with 5 or 7 hard steel because the amount of points you can receive is multiplied and will therefore generate better loot. There are pros and cons to this new system. Running hard steel early will usually result in low outcomes and mainly act as a small economic boost. Starting it late can be worth it if you reach higher thresholds for the trade by combining headliners and emblems. One aspect I noticed is that a lot of new players feel underwhelmed when playing the trade early. They are dropping too much HP because they want to gain points by losing fights and since the outcomes are minor, they end up struggling in mid game. This is why I want to introduce a different approach to this trade. Your first step is to completely ignore hard steel. Instead, you want to play your strongest board possible. Go for units items and headliners that allow you to stay healthy throughout the entirety of stage 2 and 3. If you ever manage to find a spatula, either from a PvE round or from the carousel, then you can prepare for a pivot starting with stage 4. You want to be level 7 in stage 4-1, build a hard steel emblem and look for any hard steel headliner. Since you are level 7, you will usually end up with Aphelios, Yona or Set. You also need to find at least one Ezreal for this strategy. If you have everything together, then your final board in stage 4 1 should be 7 hard steel and 1 filler unit, which is often a big shot like Misfortune to support your Ezreal. Since you never activated hard steel before this point, you now have the full 4 fights to collect as many points as possible with 7 hard steel active. You can easily take 4 losses in a row if necessary, since you protected your HP beforehand by running a strong setup in the early game. This allows you to reach high value outcomes that will help you to stabilize. You can use this outcome to make your setup stronger and continue to run 7 hard steel. After you get your second cash out, you can decide if you want to repeat this process or get rid of hard steel units and pivot into a strong late game board. By setting yourself a lot of conditions, you won't be playing the setup very often, but when everything comes together, there's a pretty good chance that you might end up with a great game that is worth remembering. If you ever try this out, let me know in the comments how it went for you. I hope you learned something and see you next time.